Hey guys, so today I want to bring you my review or kind of compare and contrast between Bath & Body Works and The Body Shop. And I'm going to be honest, I have not used every single product in either of these stores. I've used many of them, but not all of them. Um, but I just kind of wanted to bring you my compare and contrast, especially on these two items. The Bath & Body Works Body Cream is compared to the body lotion. And the reason why is because I feel like both of these stores are very, very similar, but they're very different as well. And I guess we'll first start off with the store. First off, the layout. I really like Bath & Body Works better. Um, I feel like Bath & Body Works is more fun, more exciting, whereas the body shop is more... I don't know, kind of a surreal, natural feel, like more of a calming situation. Um, let me know if you guys agree or disagree on any of these, by the way. But one thing is that Bath & Body Works on all their products, it says this finished product is not tested on animals, which is a great thing. So what that means is that this that I'm holding right here in my hand was not tested on animals. The problem is that the ingredients in here singly may have been tested on animals, which I'm not too happy about. Here at the Body Shop, it says on the third thing in that Body Shop is against animal text testing. Oh goodness. Right there. Completely against animal testing, um, which is something I'm really proud of. So that means this finished product, the beginning product, and all the ingredients inside of this were not tested on animals. Also, I don't know if this is true for all products, but I know that the Body Shop is really big on fair trade, meaning, um, if some of these ingredients came from another country, that the people were paid fairly, that they were treated fairly. I don't know about Bath & Body Works. I don't know if they do. I don't know if they don't. But there are companies out there that really just take advantage of a lot of these countries that don't have the same standards as us and really treat people badly because of that. So it's a good thing that the body shop really does take that into consideration. I just can't close this. <laughs> Um, as far as smells and scents, honestly, I think that Bath & Body Works has a little bit more fun scents. These are more relaxing and luxurious scents. Do I like one more than the other? Not really. I think that each scent is different in its own way, and not just these, but the entire line. I do feel like this doesn't last as long as this does. When I put this on my body, it lasts longer, and the smell stays with me longer than this, which goes away after a little while. Um, but neither of them work very well for my feet. I have really, really, like, really thick skin on my feet, and neither of them penetrate very well. Also, I feel like this one from the Body Shop, um, it's a little bit more absorbent to the skin. I feel like the Bath & Body Works ones, you see this one just absorbs pretty completely. The Bath & Body Works ones, I feel like they sit on top of my skin for a little while before they actually soak in. Um, and I'm not sure why that is. If I stand corrected, I do believe that the Body Shop has a little bit more essential oils, whereas Bath & Body Works, the very first ingredient is water, but the second one is mineral oil, which is basically baby oil, which you can buy for yourself. Um, glycerol sulfate, ceric acid, glycol sulfate, perfume, stuff like that. Only about halfway down do we actually get to actual extracts and ingredients. And I'm not sure here because this is like in 10 different languages and stuff like that. Um, okay, ingredients. Steric acid, glycerin. This has some stuff in there too, but the first thing is not mineral oil. Here's the ingredients for the body shop if you can see them kind of hard to read, but um, I do have glycerin, things like that. Helios Amethyst. I don't know what that is, but that might be an extract, but here I do notice that they do have a lot of different oils and stuff like that. Ingredients, sunflower seed oil, like the third one is sunflower seed oil, cocoa oil, mango oil, stuff like that. So I do think that these have a little bit more, um, more pure stuff. Now I do not know the cost. This one was $11, but they do have discounts where it's like buy three get two free or buy three get one free so this could be cheaper than 11. This one I honestly don't know. I want to say it's about the same but it could be 20. I'm not exactly sure but sometimes they have two for one deals or things like that. Um, overall which do I like better? Um, as far as actual stores that's hard but comparing and con contrasting the entire lotion line versus the entire body cream line I definitely like the lotion line better. I feel like this is just it's cute, it's fun, it's smelly, um, but it's not exactly, it doesn't exactly deliver what it says it will, and it's just a little bit less of a quality product. This one you do have to pay a little bit more, but I feel like you get more. That's the other thing. This one comes out pretty easily. I've never had a problem getting product out of there. This, like, it's, the pump just won't go up and down, and then I've tried, like, to twist it open, and then the top just comes off. Like, for some reason, I cannot figure out how to get this bottle to open and to like pump like it's supposed to be. You see, and now I can, 
I can just spin this around forever and it see now it's back on but I, I can't get lotion out of there so I always have to go like this wipe it on my skin and then dip it back in which I feel like is contaminating the entire thing which is really gross that's just my quick view and opinions and review and stuff like that let me know have you tried Bath and Body Works have you tried the body shop which one do you like better and then do you guys want to review of other products like their bath products or like perfume products or do you just want like these um but those are my thoughts those are my opinions i really hope that this review helped you guys and of course i would love to hear what you have to say um so without further ado i will talk to you all in the next video and yeah um i'll probably be using this <laughs> love you guys so much and i'll see you all soon <laughs> bye